Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to create a gallery page uh, using the Flatsum theme in WordPress. So first step is to log into the back end of your WordPress website. This is usually done by typing in wp-admin and then enter your username and password and click login. Now you're in the back end of your WordPress website. So to add a page, all you need to do is just hover over the uh, pages tab on the left hand side and click add new. Okay, now because we are using the Flatsum editing interface, we are going to edit this page using uh, edit with UX builder. If we weren't going to use the uh, Flatsum theme editing interface, we will just add a, uh, a title here and the content there. And that's how to edit a page using the WordPress uh, interface. But today I'm showing you how to use the Flatsum editing interface. So we're going to click on Edit with UX Builder up here. Okay, so now we're into the Flatsum editing interface. Uh, first step is to actually select a template for this page. So normally I just select uh, this full width template. And next is to give the page a name. So we'll call it Gallery, click Apply, and we're ready to start designing the page. Again, um, normally when I design my uh, pages, I usually like to always select the section uh, element. I usually do this just in case I need to color the background or customize it, customize the area using the customizations here on the left. So we'll just leave all these customizations as is for the moment and we'll, we'll just add a gallery to this page. So normally we just scroll down and we look, find the gallery option. Here we go. Um, first step is to click on Edit Gallery. If I click on the Select Files, it will actually take me to my computer files, but we want to add files from images already in the WordPress library. So here we are here. And say, for instance, I want to choose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where are we? Okay, I want to choose that one because it's horizontal. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for instance, eight. And all we do is just click Add Gallery. So here we got, we've got the eight images. Um, and normally I usually select Media File. That way it opens up into a light box. Size remains on thumbnail. Um, and just leave as is for the moment. So we click Update Gallery. And there you go. Now you have a few customizations here on the left, so you can just play with these different types of uh, styles here. We can just leave it at none. Open in a light box is on, which is good. So when someone clicks on that image, it actually opens up into a new window. Um, layout again, there are a few different options here. Um, you could have a slider. A slider will show the four going across and just slide. So that's that. But today we'll leave it on row where all the images show up. Um, then you can change whether you want it um, container or you want it a full width of the page. So we'll just leave it at full width. Column spacing, again, you can have collapse, which means that all the images are stuck together. Or you can have a small, normal or large space. So we'll just click on normal for today. Now columns, so we have got four columns going across. Now if you want to increase that to five columns, you just increase to five, six, seven, however many you want. I usually like using big images, so I, I usually stick with four columns. Again, this is just some animation on top of the image. So when you select the hover, you will see that once you hover over, it will um, create a shadow in the back if you can see that see 
hover shadow off um, that's number two if I increase that there's a bit more of a, a shadow that will appear there we go so we'll just leave that at one an animation this is how the images fall on the page so again you can have a play around with this um, they can fade in from the left flip in Y we'll click in flip in Y for today there we go uh, the height we usually leave as is um, again you can decrease all the images or enlarge them I usually leave this at 100% and you can also put a radius around the image which means just curves on the edge of the image like that I usually like them uh, square okay size you can just leave on default if the images are not clear um, make sure you select original but these images are fine so we'll just leave that on default and text we are not required to add anything there and that's it and there you have your gallery so we'll click apply and we'll click publish so what we do now is open up another page and go to your website as you can see the gallery page is not up in the navigation bar that's because we need to actually add it to the navigation bar so first step is to create the page and then second step is to uh, add it to the navigation bar and to do that we again go back into the back end of WordPress go to appearances here click on menus okay so here I have created one navigation menu called main nav and that's my main nav so if you go back to your website you'll see that's the main nav and I've called that main hyphen nav and that's the uh, navigation bar that I will be adding the gallery to so as you can see we've got the five pages here but the gallery is missing so the gallery once you create a page will appear here under pages this opens and closes um, just make sure you select gallery and add it to the menu there we go so we've added that and we can just move it to whatever position we want so we can have it second position or third I usually like having the gallery towards the contact page so we've done that um, also sometimes I just like making these all consistent so I will do that all in capital letters and then we go so once I click the save menu this gallery page will actually show up on the website so we'll refresh this page and there we go and there's our gallery page so we'll click on the gallery page to have a look what the gallery looks like and here we go we've got these very large images on the gallery page so if we go back to the editing of the gallery say for instance these images are too big and we want to make them smaller uh, there's a few things you can do we can go back to options so as you can see just either click on this gear icon and there's the options you click on options and it brings us back to um, the customizations here for the gallery so here we can increase these columns to say six this will make the images smaller or eight there we go and we'll click apply and click update and go back to our site and there you have the gallery with four eight images again we can go back to the customizations click options and we can go back to four and if we like we want to create a slider and this will show you what the slider looks like so we've got the slider there um, and there's a few customizations for the slider that you can choose simple which is the navigation style that's just the arrows whether you want them on the inside or the outside simple reveal or circle so if I change that to circle you'll see these see these arrows become circle shaped um, and then we've got whether you can have it inside or outside the actual um, slider and whether you want bullets and also this is important if you want the slider to move make sure you select the three seconds or four seconds option any one of those will do and pretty much that's it I mean you can always have a play around with these customizations just when you're finished just make sure you click apply and update 
and we'll go back to our gallery page click refresh and here we have our gallery and we've got the uh, arrows there and the bullets underneath so that's our gallery page again I'll go back make these images smaller because I think they're a bit too big click apply update refresh the page and there we go we've got the six now so hopefully um, that has given you an idea how to create a page and how to uh, create a gallery um, on a WordPress web page using the Flatsome theme. Thanks for uh, listening and stay tuned for more tutorials.